Then darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blind. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. News, religion, hip hop, and politics on Band in America. I'm the Shadow Band Man. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Now, we already know, and if you don't know, let me be the first to let you know, Capitol Records have officially dropped the virtual rapper by the name of FN Mecca. Now, the reason why they dropped FN Mecca is because they got a lot of backlash over this virtual reality rapper that was basically perpetuating various stereotypes of a certain community that looked like this. Now, the record company, Capitol Records, of course, they apologized to the black community for insensitivity of promoting an artificial intelligence artist and this artificial intelligence artist was appropriating the culture of hip hop while utilizing racial slurs that were infused in the lyrics. Now, some people don't know what FM Mecca is, but listen, it's basically a artificial intelligence or like an augmented reality artist and he released or they released a debut single called florida water i think it was like august 10th 11th something like that around the 12th of august something like that you know what i'm saying but they officially cut ties with this artist or this artificial intelligence or you know what i'm saying you know it's just like uh what do I say? You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, though, is uh, it's not cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was calling FM Mecca the uh, robot rapper. It's just, <laughs> he's powered. He's partly powered by artificial intelligence. It's like, uh, you know what's crazy is that this artificial intelligence bot got like 10 million followers on TikTok. You got what I'm saying? And you can utilize TikTok to make money if you don't know that uh and now you know you feel me i'm just saying uh, you're welcome you know what i'm saying but listen this company they had talked about this fm mecca project and they was just talking about this augmented reality rap artist right and it was the first artificial reality rapper to be signed to a major label you got what i'm saying but of course the backlash that was generated has been so great and it has kind of tainted the image of Capitol Records to the point where they're like, uh, no, we're going to just move in a different direction. You know, that's the terminology they use. We're moving in a different direction, buddy. You got what I'm saying? So FM Mecca is no more as it applies to being an artist on Capitol record you know what i'm saying they just basically severed ties now it bothers me but they did issue a statement and they were basically saying that they were offering their deepest apology to the black community uh they was admitting that they lacked sensitivity you know what i'm saying um by signing this artificial intelligence artists you got what i'm saying <sighs> and it's just hmm it's um yeah uh, it's just really disturbing you know what i'm saying now they did also tell the black community that their input was valuable and you know they appreciated the community and they apologized now of course they have to say all of these things 
because of the backlash. The backlash has been so gigantic that they had to come in and say, okay, man, this big fire that we caused, let's go ahead and put the fire out. You got what I'm saying? But now let me talk about what has happened. A group of individuals who own a record company, they basically got popularity and they have decided, yeah, you see this guy? <laughs> yeah, that's FN Mecca right there. FN Mecca. Now, FN, if you don't know, is a gun, even though FN is also fucking. So I don't know if he's saying fucking Mecca or I don't even I don't even know what FN Mecca. I don't know what the origin of that name is, but all names have an origin. So don't I'm not so crazy into thinking that they didn't have a rhyme and reason behind calling this virtual reality, artificial intelligence being or whatever they want to call it. They named them that for a specific reason. So I'm not going to get into why, you know, because that who cares about that? But listen to what's happening, though. Right now, hip hop is a culture. And the music promotes the death, destruction of the world. That's what it's being used for right now. These record companies are hiring rap artists, giving them some type of money, compensating them for their reality. However, this is what they have done. They have done an official experiment and they've been doing these experiments see people don't remember back in the day BET did this this artificial intelligence being animated being called Sita you got what I'm saying like people they just it's like they just keep forgetting especially in the hip-hop community it seems as if people have amnesia in the hip-hop community why are you forgetting every single time? But okay, so anyway, this company, they decide to create an artist by the name of FN Mecca. They hire this black guy to be the voice, to be the rapper of FN Mecca. Now, there's some shady stuff that went behind that because now that guy is saying that, you know, they pulled him in and just used him up, didn't give him any compensation, even though they said they was going to give him compensation, and then they just ghosted him, et cetera, et cetera. But now this is what these individuals are doing, though. They are the worst degree of cultural appropriation. They're taking your voice taking names, and then they operate off of every single stereotype of the hip-hop community, of the black community. They operate off of all of those stereotypes, and then they create a character that mimics what they think is hip-hop. And this character was doing some of the craziest things. I looked at this FN Mecca thing on TikTok, doing crazy things saying crazy stuff and then you know having other individuals other people you know who don't look like this in the video talking about yo i just yo i just landed in new york check me out and then they'll flash to the virtual rapper fn mecca doing something crazy you understand what i'm saying like it's the worst type of cultural appropriation now this makes me think of a bigger fish. That's right. I got a bigger fish to fry. You have no ownership over hip hop. The people who look like this, who created hip hop, have absolutely no ownership over hip hop. They don't have the influence over hip hop. Everyone who has the influence in hip hop does not look like this. Look at the individuals who own all 
of the multimedia conglomerates, of the multimedia companies, of the music companies. Look at the owners, trace them back. These people, a lot of times, they don't like hip hop at all. A lot of times they don't even like women. You got what I'm saying? So since they hate women and they hate hip hop, they don't even listen to rap music. Trace these, the owners of these companies. They don't even listen to hip hop. They don't even like women. Did you hear what I said? They don't like women and they don't like hip hop. Don't listen to hip hop music. So why would they hire or sign these hip hop artists if they don't even like women and they don't even like the hip hop music? Why would for economic gain? So now of these individuals who run hip hop because they own the multimedia conglomerates and music companies and they don't even like women and they don't like hip hop. They don't even listen to hip hop music, but they still mastermind the promotion and marketing of hip hop. But what is hip hop right now? Sex, drugs, murder, destruction. So the people who don't even listen to hip hop, they don't even like women. They don't even listen to the music, but they have you as the person who does listen to music and listen to hip hop. They have you listening to the death destruction of the world. And these are the artists that they sign. Do you not see the problem? So now it makes sense that the people who don't listen to hip hop, the people who don't listen to hip hop music and don't even track the culture, who don't even like women, it makes sense to me why they would create this artificial individual and have him doing all the craziest, most illogical stuff on the planet as a test to see what you will consume and what you will reject. So you create, you consumed this guy's craziness. They orchestrated this guy right here. This guy is crazy. They orchestrated this guy right here. He was planned. They planned and they used all the stereotypical imagery. Every negative thing that they could think of, they put into that guy. Look at that right there. You got me? To me, the people who run hip hop, they hate these people. They hate the culture. They hate and they show it through the music. They show it through the music that they promote. Now listen, the individual who come from the streets, so you're not going to be able to snow me. I came out of the mud. I'm a complete mud baby. Crack cocaine, I know about that. Weed, know about that. OZs, know about that. Flip that, know how to do that. I'm just saying, you're not going to be, you can't snow me. So I know when I'm hated. I've been in courtrooms where I'm hated. I've been harassed, beat up, done all kind of wrong to by people who hate me. And they do everything. They use the words that I use. They use the slang that I use. They don't look like me. You got what I'm saying? And it's nothing like being arrested by somebody, you know, doing you dirty. And then they over there talking about, yeah, what's up, homeboy? Yeah, yeah, what's up? You my partner, them. You got what I'm saying? See, you, you, you can't understand because... A lot of times, fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of times the individuals who buy the music now, they don't relate to this urban life. They don't understand what it's like. 
growing up in a world being hated. So when you grow up in a world where you get you're hated and you're given inferior education and you're being lied to as you go through the school system and they are preparing you to be incarcerated, you don't understand what that's like. So now when you get out of whatever school, whether that's middle, you drop out of middle school, drop out of high school, I'm just saying, whatever the situation is, and you grow up and you go into this system that hates you, that exploits you, because you are, hey, look, I was, most people who are in middle school, they are just trying to grow up. Now, when most people were in middle school, I was in a, I was incarcerated in a young male correctional facility. You got what I'm saying? So people can't feel my pain. Some people can feel my pain, but most can't even relate to it. So they ain't like, uh, get the fuck out of here. You got what I'm saying? So a lot of people who don't come up into a system can't see how that system prepares you for incarceration, prepares you for a prison pipeline that most people don't even talk about, don't even care about. You don't know what it's like. To grow up in a world being taught that every single thing that you or your people do is demonic, is by the devil. And everything everyone else does is all greatness. See, I've never been taught through a systematic learning tool of school that my people were great. Every time I learned about people that looked like me, man, I was just told that they was incarcerated. You know, when you're incarcerated, things are not good, right? Because you do understand that's what chattel slavery was. So when you learn about people that look like this, the only thing they've taught you in America is that they were incarcerated. Now, they called them chattel slaves. They called it slavery, but I know that it was incarceration because they were trying to contain the spirit of a great people by limiting the resources, limiting the education of those individuals. That's why you would be murdered if you could read. If you tried to learn, you would be murdered. Because they didn't need you thinking in these new worlds and in the world that we would eventually or they would eventually call the Americas. You understand me? So I know you're like, man, what does all of this have to do with FN Mecca? I am telling you, this is just a test of how to culturally appropriate in the proper manner see they got to get you used to this cultural appropriation because you complain too much about this cultural appropriation but listen artificial intelligence taking over everything that means you're replaceable and since you have no ownership in hip-hop then hip-hop is replaceable it is a cash cow. It's a limited commodity that will always change, rearrange like a chameleon and get used over and over and over because you have no ownership in it. I need you to understand what I'm saying. And I know you don't. But it is what it is. But the bottom line is FM Mecca is just a program is just a test to see what people respond to, what they don't respond to. It's just stimuli. Learn the scientific process. They created their hypothesis. They just testing different things out. And they know it works. The reason why they know it works is because the only thing you want to listen to, the only thing you want to look at is the horror, is the death, is the destruction in this hip-hop community 
every time somebody dies, you okay with it. And the record company make millions. Billions of dollars are being made off the brutal murder of individuals. And I'm so tired of this narrative of, you know what? Acting like everything is all equal. Everything is all equal. And these people right here are killing these people right here and they look just like each other. Well, let's take it back. Let's take it back 200 years. Um, Who was killing who? Look, don't focus on 25 years of America when America is how many hundred years old? Well, who was murdering when they first got here for hundreds of years? Who was being murdered? Who was being raped? Who was being brutalized by devils and barbarians? Who? What groups of people? Groups of people. What groups of people were being murdered? Over and over and over. What groups of people were being taught all of the lies? What groups of people were given a devil religion? What groups? Name the groups of people for hundreds of years that were taught backwards. Name them. So what we gonna do, we gonna focus on 50 years. So let's say hip hop been around 50 years because it has not, it has not. But let's say that hip hop been around 50 years, hypothetically. So now you're gonna blame these 50 years of death, destruction, violence, et cetera, et cetera, on hip hop? No, 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 no. Hip hop is a America. That's what hip hop is. It's nothing more America. You know how they say it's America like apple pie, right? That's what hip hop is. Hip hop is the apple pie of America because hip hop is everything that America tries to lie and run away from. Hip hop is nothing but the truth. So now people who keep trying to lie and been lying since the inception of this nation trying to lie and act like it was something that it wasn't because we already know we studied the revolutionary war we know that was treason we know that this was stolen land and then people turning their backs on the people who stole the land we know that we keep being fed lie after lie after lie so it don't make sense and to me it's a perfectly masterminded plan conspiracy brain to understand how to hijack a culture and feed even more lies, but then twist it. Because now we blaming hip hop for everything now. Oh, these, these people are monsters. They've been doing this for the last 20 years. They've been there or kill each other or doing all these bad things to each other. Okay. So now hip hop 1974, we gonna just give that the birth date, okay? We're going to just give hip hop April 13th, 1974. We're going to just make up a birthday name. Okay. Birthday date. Boom. That's the date of hip hop. Right. Okay. So now 73, what was happening in the sixties? What was happening in the fifties? 1950. What was happening? 1960. What was happening? 1940. What was happening? What was happening in the 1900s? Early 1900s. 1901. Let's go to the 1800s. What was happening in 1850? How about 1870? Early 1800s, 1807. What was happening in, the, in what would be called the Americas? You got what I'm saying? So it's, it's easy for people to try to blame all of this horrible stuff that's been happening for 20 years on a genre of music. Because most people, they looking for a scapegoat. They looking for something to point at. So yeah, let's blame hip hop. Because it's the biggest thing moving. It's the cash cow in reality. You understand what I'm saying? But the bottom line is this. Bad things happen to bad people. And America been bad so long and been spitting lies so long that they're going to get you to believe that only certain groups of people have been doing this to certain groups of people for this small amount of time. What? You don't know nothing about the indigenous people? 
Now I'm all over everywhere. You're like, man, this guy over here, he over here. How is this related to FN Mecca? These thieves are gonna steal your reality and you're not even gonna know. And they're gonna say and give you the right beat and say the right things and make it where you're okay with it. You got what I'm saying? And you're not even gonna understand what's going on. They're, gonna, they're the wolves that's gonna pull the wool over your eyes because you're just a little sheep. All right, little lamb. Stay fearless and be a warrior. Shadow band.